No, we're delighted to be joined by Klaus Troker, Akil Duo, Robert McNamara and Kino Carroll ahead of their All-Ireland D final this Thursday afternoon in the Leash Offaly ETB Centre of Excellence as they play Luke and CBS in that D All-Ireland final. Robert is the coach of the school and, and Keane is the captain. Keane, I'll come to you first. Approach an All-Ireland final on Paddy's week. Well, what's the mood like in the school coming up to the game? Ah, there's a great buzz now around the school the past few weeks. Like the teachers and all have been buying into it a lot. Like and they're putting up bunting and flags for us and everything. And we're getting a lot of supporters now up to the match as well. So it'll be a great occasion for all the lads. And we all just can't wait now to get out into the field on Thursday. Are you able to get out of class a bit easier now? An excuse and all learning final coming up. I don't know about that now. So I've been warning us all day to make sure we get all our homework done and get to class because he doesn't want any trouble. But I don't know. A few teachers now are less lele lenient in the rest of them uh, what's it like uh the dynamic in a, in a school team that you obviously you're going to be lads from your own club but you're going to be playing rivals that you play with your club later on in the year how do you gel together i don't know i just it really helps you know when you've been in school for the past six years like we all have a great bond between us all the boys like and every time we go out onto the field we all just want to do the best for each other like and we're a fierce hard-working team like we'll always everyone tries to just push everyone on like and like we haven't experienced too much success between all of us, even with clubs and everything. So, like, it would just be great to push on now and win this all Ireland final. Yeah, you mentioned pushing on there. You started off very well, obviously, with wins, back-to-back -back wins. But you seem to get better as the competition goes on. And your best performance was in the Munster final. And your best performance then came in All-Ireland semi that you do seem to get better game on game. Oh, yeah, definitely. But, like, even at the start, no at trainings like you'd have a few lads messing around like but now that we're getting to the later stages like everyone's really getting focused like and everyone just wants to get the best out of us like and in the matches now everyone like we're all focused for the games like everyone would make sure we're eating the right stuff drinking enough water like everyone's taking this match very serious like and we just can't wait for it robert coming to you do you feel that in the squad that there is improvements as you as you're going on the air uh yeah definitely like you can see it there from from the start from the first game till now, like they've improved, they're working better better as a unit on the field, um, compared to the, the start of the year. Do you know, I suppose with the post primary schools, it's hard, like you know, as you said there at the top of the show, the players are, are training with different clubs. Now, look, we're blessed, we have we have a spread across probably about maybe three, four clubs on the team. So a lot of them are used to playing with each other, but at the same time, there's there's people coming into the into the team and they have to work together. And you can see it there. They've progressed game after game. And look, there's been there's been easier games and and there's been harder games. And you can see they have the resilience in them. And they, as Kean said, they are a hard working team. And they have they have given you know a hundred percent or whatever is asked of them, no matter what sort of challenges have been thrown up at them. So you know, even our first day out, I suppose. We didn't know what we didn't know what to expect you know how we were going to perform we, we tried to get a, a few challenges in beforehand we got one and um, we saw a couple of changes there and we made them we went out the first day we sort of we're very strong in the first half but we went off it in the second half and that's sort of something we looked at then and then co come out the next day then and the team performed better over the 60 minutes you know so it, there's a clear progression every day as they go out and I suppose the Munster final was a great test for them to get over the line and it shows what a team and the character of the team have and all the lads like so it was it was it was it's been it's been a super I suppose journey and I suppose as Keane said it's not over yet like so we want to make sure we we finish it off well and hopefully the boys will be able to come out on Thursday and you know do themselves proud and that's what we want I suppose especially for the for the school and for their for their clubs and I suppose for the the local Iraqi as well, you know. Yeah, you, you know, obviously you're, you're dealing with young lads there. They're they're all still in their school years, but an All Ireland final brings with it that extra hype. Obviously, that trip to Dublin for you know the photo shoot with all the other clubs that are in All Ireland finals. I suppose how do you manage that expectation? Keen mentioned the bunting and stuff and the talk around school. How do you keep the the lads grounded and just focus on the game? Uh, I suppose, look, it's no easy feat. Keep you know, lads, you're talking, you're dealing with 18, 17, 16 year olds. So it's not about, I suppose, too much trying to keep them grounded. It's just, I suppose, asking them to enjoy it and don't take it for granted. I suppose, you know, and I've said that to them on numerous occasions. I can hopefully Keen will back me up. I have told them enjoy it, like you know. So it is, it is an occasion to enjoy. It's not something to 
to try and build yourself down. You want to build yourself up, but obviously keeping a cool head about you as well. And, you know, I think the boys are focused. You know, they know there's a job at hand. There's 60 minutes. We have to go out there. We have to perform. And, and they know that as well. I suppose my biggest concern is, as Keen said, uh, making sure they don't um, shorten their responsibilities in school as well and, and make sure they're doing the right things in school. And I suppose making sure no one comes back to me and I don't have to have awkward conversations. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, I'll throw it over to you there for a minute. Yeah, Robert. Um, um, just just looking through your results there, they, 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 um, there were some very close calls in Munster. You, obviously, you're going you're going into Saturday's final or Thursday's final, following a good win in the All Ireland semi final, but really battle hardened coming out of Mon out of Munster. Yeah. 100% I'd say look the games in Munster they're very competitive like no matter what grade you're in like um, and it is something that is is that's going to stand to us I suppose coming through out of Munster like the way we have um, I suppose there was games like you know you could say we we won by four four or three or four points uh, or and the final we won by a point you might say four points is not substantially, but the games were much tighter than that. Do you know, it was tit for tat, a lucky goal. This, do you know, the break of the ball goes your way. And look, I suppose it is standing to us in that regard. And we went out in the semi final and we didn't take anything for granted. And I suppose, do you know, you just have to play what's in front of you. And the boys went out and they gave an unbelievable uh, performance like across 60 minutes. Do you know, so as we said, we came in at half time in the semi final and you know, we were well on top and Joe, so, um, Mr. Mr. Fair, an, another teacher in the school just said to the boys, you know, we need to go out now and we need to finish, we need to finish this game. We need to win the second half as well. You know, good teams go out and, and they win the second half. They don't just put, take the foot off the pedal, pedal. And that's what the boys did, I suppose. And I suppose that battle of hardness from Munster is what was able to get, do that performance in the semi final in the second half. So look, it's, it's great. It's a great asset to have. Um, it's on the team, and it's something that you know is going to really benefit us in the final. Like you won, you won the, the, the final in the most dramatic of circumstances against Blarney. Yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> it was an unbelievable performance from the boys in the second half. Like you know, we they just came out and uh, they just blitzed them for the first ten minutes, and they had no they had no response and. We literally, the boys fought on the ground for every ball. There was no, there was no dead ball. Every ball was, was alive for them. Like they wanted it. Their hunger was there, and you know, we took the opportunities when they came, and that's what. Sure, within ten minutes, we had them. We had them back within a point. Like so, you know, it's it's super to see that in a group. As I said, you know, you're you're dealing with 18, 17, 16 year olds, and to see that resilience in in a a group of lads. You know, our panel isn't that big and, you know, one to 20, everyone is behind one another. And look, Keen had a few words at halftime as well. And, you know, it's great to see that leadership on the team. And there's a, there's a couple more along with him, you know. And that's what, you, like, that's what you're just hoping from a group. Like, and look, I'm lucky enough. I'm just mentoring this group of boys. Like, it's their clubs that have done the groundwork. It's their clubs that have put in their training. You know, I'm just lucky enough that I'm involved at school level with him. And... I'm very thankful for that. And the lads are, I suppose the lads are repaying me with, with great success. And it's just some it's just unbelievable. And it was an unbelievable performance from him in the second half. Um Robert, you have a you have a 25 strong squad drawn from six clubs. 13 of them are from Croke Kilfinney. Um is how much of an advantage is that, lads that are playing with that club and playing again with their school? I suppose look, they're they're well used to playing with one another. Um, you know, it gives them that advantage. They know how how they move on the field and, and what way they want to play the game. And it's of great benefit, you know, they they're probably nearly instinctive to know if the ball breaks and they're and they're on the attack, it's nearly instinctive. They know that someone is going to be off their shoulder or someone is going to come from um midfield and is going to run off the shoulder or is going to be there for them, or they know how the lads are moving inside and they know where to put the ball and the lads are just going to be there. Do you know, it's it's taking that extra second looking up to make sure that person is there. Do you know, they instinctively know that the you know these are these are where their players are going to be because they're so used to work with one another, I suppose. And again, look, it's as I said there, it's a testament to the clubs. Like it's obviously the training they're putting in that they 
they have this ability and aptitude of the game that they can they can work together like that and, and be instinctive enough on the field. So it's you know it's it's of great benefit really, yeah. Um Keen turning to you, um do you have to pinch yourself at times to think that by maybe three o'clock on Thursday evening you'll be an All Ireland winning captain? I uh, know I try not to think about it now too much. I just focus on myself and the team and like how I'll perform now on the day. Like I won't I won't think about a speech now or anything like that. I'll just focus on trying to perform my best now on the day. Um of course you 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 have um your uncle is one of the most famous Limerick supporters. Uh Bog Carroll will Bog be on the sideline shouting you on on, on Thursday? Uh, Bob will be up now in Port Leash and about nine o'clock in the morning. And I'm sure he'll have a hat and everything ready. And what 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 words of advice has he given you? Uh, he just said, "Go out and enjoy the day, like and stay calm." And sure, he'll be shouting me on from the sideline anyway. So that's all, the only support I need. That's okay. That's that, that's it for me, Jack. Thanks, Keen, lads. Before I go, uh, Keen, just as captain. What what kind of role are you as a captain? Are you a talker or do you kind of let the hurling do the talking for you? Uh, I do a bit of talking, all right. I talk to the boys before the match and like if they need a few boys needed a few words of encouragement, like I'd give it to them at half time. But to be fair, most of the boys, like you don't need to say anything to them. They'll just go out and do their job. Like, and sure, look, I try to I try my best to let my hurling do the talking at times then as well. Yeah, well, you, you've certainly let your talking do or your hurling do the talking throughout the campaign. Lads, thanks very much for your time. We wish you the very best of luck this Thursday, the 16th of March, at half one in the Leash Offaly ETB Centre of Excellence. You play Luke and CBS in the D All Ireland Hurling Final. The best of luck and thanks very much.